My daughter was almost abducted today. My wife, myself, and my two kids, my buddy, his wife, and their two kids went down to a state park to enjoy the lake and to do some swimming and have some fun. And that fun was short-lived. Shortly after we arrived, we parked, and me and my buddy went down to the lake, about 50 yards, if that, uh, to case out a good spot to set up the chairs and a good spot for the kids because they have a hard enough time walking in the house. Uh, they don't need to be dealing with big, sharp, jagged rocks. And while we were doing that, a beige blazer with aftermarket rims with the music blasting came rolling down the parking lot and parked one spot over with no vehicles separating and no other vehicles around uh, on the opposite side of my truck on the passenger side. Two gentlemen of the southern persuasion that I don't believe were citizens were sitting in that vehicle. They didn't see me and my buddy. They saw my wife and my daughter, who's a toddler, and my buddy's wife and her daughter at the trucks by themselves. And this guy in the passenger seat was staring at my wife, staring at my wife and my daughter. And I'm talking like, people don't stare at moms like this because they have good intentions. You understand what I'm talking about? They were casing a grab and go with my wife. They were gonna see if the juice was worth the squeeze to get out of their vehicle, run over there, overpower my wife, and take my daughter to where I would probably never see her again. Well, my buddy and I heard the music and we saw the vehicle pull in, so we started walking back up to the truck. I go up to the driver's side door, I grab my 15 plus reasons not to want to fuck around and find out, chamber that, because it wasn't on me. And my buddy had excess of 34 reasons on his waistband to why you don't want to fuck around and find out and put himself because he was in a better position of mobility than I was at that moment in time to create separation between that vehicle and my wife. Once I was ready and I maneuvered myself behind the wheel well of the truck bed, we just had a staring contest with those guys. Well, I told my wife, get her back in her seat, get in the truck and lock the doors, we're leaving. That was, uh, that was a little sketchy. The way that this policy is down there at the southern border, it's only going to get worse. I don't need to tell you why.